Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for June. This is for the sign of Cancer. So this is for June. It is for June 2020. This is not past. This is not past energy. This is a reading for your future. Okay, this is for June 2020. So, you know, I get people all the time, I'll say this is in the past. This is in the past? Really? Well, it's not. You might not want to accept it. Let's see what's going to happen for June. What do we have for June? For the sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for June? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. So you may be needing to talk to your friends. Listen to your friends. Let your friends in. Uh, you probably have a really, really good friend that can, has some good advice for you. I suggest that you have a conversation with this person. Um, you know who this person is. This is somebody that you trust. So there is somebody that you trust that uh, you need to have a conversation with. You probably haven't had a conversation with them in a while about this particular circumstance. But I feel like in June you're going to need to. This is a conversation that you need to have with somebody that you trust that knows your whole situation. Okay, this person has been a part of your life for a long time. Um, they are a real friend. So you have a real friend that has some, some advice for you that you need to hear. Okay, and you need to take take into account whatever it is that they're saying like give them whatever they're saying to you really listen to it because whatever that whatever advice they're giving you is something that you need to react to okay because they have some information for you you've probably not wanted to listen to it you may have been in some sort of denial but this friend of yours uh they can give you some insight they may be able to help you with you know, maybe you missed something. You missed something. You were looking at something from your from your own perspective, and they have a different perspective. So there's a a very good friend that you have uh, you've been in this person's life for a long time. They've been in yours. You can trust this person. You need to get together with this person in June and ask them for their advice and listen to what they have to say. So that conversation is coming up in June. So what do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer in June? There's two. Uh, what do we have for Cancer? Hills. There's some sort of obstacle to be overcome. And I believe that. I believe there is. Because you're going to need one of your friends. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So there's a younger woman here. Bag. Something important. Such as, such as a new job or a raise. So there's something important that is coming in in June. It involves money by the looks of things. I mean, a bag doesn't have to be a new job, okay? This could be moving, okay? It could be. You're packing your bags. It could be, could be money. Either way. But there's going to be an obstacle that you have to overcome. And there's something to do with a younger woman. Um, interesting. Very interesting. There could be a, a woman that's after your money. If you are, you know, you have a lot of money or something. I just, I don't know where that came from. That just pop, popped into my head. Some of you could be dealing with a woman who's using you for money. If you are a woman watching this, there's a, there's a younger woman that is up to no good. But I think she's up to no good. Okay, I think there's a woman that is up to no good here. She looks like she's up to no good to me. So what do we have for cancer? There's an obstacle. There is an obstacle. So this obstacle has to do with this younger woman. Okay. You're going to need your friend. You're going to need your friends. Prince of Coins. 
So look at that. That's a, that's a huge opportunity right there. You have a huge opportunity to start fresh because I would consider this the, I would consider this the page of coins. I've had this deck for a long time. I never use it. But anyway, the, whether it's the page or the night, it doesn't matter. That's a golden opportunity. It's a, but hard work pays off. So you have an opportunity here to build some so, something secure. That's huge. It's huge. It's a huge opportunity, but it's going to take a lot of effort. Now, you could be dealing with somebody. Um, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. But this person is, this is hard work. Hard work that pays off. Queen of Staves. So Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or this could be you taking on this energy. This is somebody who is very confident, very sexy, very strong, very um, passionate. It looks to me as though we, this is this, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this is you. I'm not saying that it's not. This could be the younger woman. I'm not sure who, or this could be the younger woman. There is an element of, of sex appeal here. Now, this is an exciting opportunity here. There's a lot of opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity to go on a new adventure. We have somebody here that is very proud and they should be proud they should be proud of who they are this is somebody who is very determined to be successful very um no oh, we have a golden opportunity for growth here put it that way it's a golden opportunity for growth this is exciting Nine of staves. So this is the nine of wands. Facing some challenges. You're going to be facing some challenges. You know, the, the nine of wands is wounded. Expecting trouble. Being on guard. Needing to be on guard. This is also a card of strength, and this one is too. You're going to need to be strong this month. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to hold your head up high. I feel like somebody's after your money. I do. Or they're after something that you can give them. They see you as strong. They see you as strong. They see you as uh, somebody that can help them, which is interesting. Eight of arrows, yeah, eight of swords. Um, this is mental turmoil. This is trapped. Somebody is trapped. They're trapped in a situation. Now, this is mental conflict, mental turmoil. Uh, victim. Victim mentality. Looking for help. I feel like somebody is looking for you to help them. They're looking for you to help them financially. I feel like you've got somebody in your vicinity that can't take care of themselves. This person can't take care of themselves. Almost like they're gonna, they're trying to use you. That's, I feel that very strongly. And this is an obstacle. And we have an obstacle to be overcome. So, and, and, you know, this could be your energy. This could go vice versa. We have somebody here that is down. Okay, they're down on the ground. They're down. Down. And this is down too. The nine of... I mean, it is. Somebody that is down. Needing to find their determination to rise above it. This is determined. Their strength. Their, their willpower. Their discipline. So somebody is going to need to find their discipline. Their willpower and their strength to rise above this desperate situation whatever it is this is a desperate situation it is somebody has been trapped in a situation that is uh not very healthy put it that way feeling very alone feeling very 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 alone uh you know hmm. Ooh, wheel of fortune reverse now this is an unpredictable loss it is going backwards, stuck, clinging to control in a situation, not letting go. The Wheel of Fortune is bad luck. There's a delay. There's a setback. 
negative and this is repetitive patterns as well somebody keeps repeating the same patterns over and over and over again why why cancer why you keep repeating the same patterns over and over and over again because you don't know your worth or because you lack self-confidence or what there's lack of self-confidence here and you need you got to find your confidence it's in there you got to find your strength you got to find your willpower and your discipline to not let people take advantage of you not let people hurt you not let people use you it's like you got somebody around you that is bringing you backwards this person is bringing you backwards they want you to take care of them you know i feel like who you know, hold on King of Cups. Yeah, you're you're King of Cups. This is this is somebody that is very feeling. Uh, all about love, looking for love, looking for a relationship. Has a big heart. They see your big heart, right? You got somebody here that sees your big heart and they are totally taking advantage of you. That's the way I feel like this is. I feel like you got somebody here that has a really you have a big heart. I think that you have a very big heart. I think you need to find your confidence to, you know, not let people walk all over you, not let people take advantage of you. I think that you have a big heart and you need to turn your back on whoever this individual who has their, 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 it feels like they're driven. This per whoever you're dealing with is driven to hold you down. They're driven to, uh, get what kind, whatever fortune they can get out of you, whatever money they can get out of you. That's what this is. There's somebody that wants you to take care of them. And I think it's financially. This person is down. They can't take care of themselves. They don't want to be by themselves. And you're what? You're their savior? Oh my God. A sacrifice? What the hell? That's, it. That's what you, you know? A sacrifice. This is a hangman. Right? So you've been sacrificing yourself. You must let this person go. You're sacrificing too much. You need to think about this. You, need, you do. You need to ha take this. If you need a new perspective. You see this person. That, there's your friend trying to stop you. You've got a friend that's going to give you all the insight that you need. There is somebody that you need to tell. You need to tell about this person. You go tell your best buddy. Okay. You go tell your best buddy what this friend is doing. What would you tell your friend? What would you tell your friend if the roles were reversed? Okay. Oh, look at this. Five of stays, comp, staves, competition. You are dealing with somebody that thrives on attention, that loves to get attention from other people. So you're dealing with an attention hog. That's what I feel like you got here. And, th and that is the truth. So I think, I don't know if it's a fire sign or who it is. It doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, this person is very alluring. This person is sexy. This person is... Um, loves attention. The, the the queen of wands is somebody is, who is attention seeking. You think about fire. When you see a fire, what does everybody do? Everybody looks at the fire. What does the fire need to survive? Attention. Air. All I got to do is blow on it and it gets bigger, right? So anyway, I feel like... Um, You have somebody here that is is screaming for attention and they're and they're getting it from other people and I think there's going to be a battle there's a battle I think you're dealing with somebody who is 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 dealing with another person honestly and you may be been ignoring it you maybe you've been ignoring your intuition you've been ignoring what you know I feel like this person is using you. They're using you for your kindness. <laughs> they see your kindness. They see your big heart. You've been wasting your time. You won't listen to anybody. I feel like you've been sacrificing a lot. You've been you've been paying for things. You've been you've been trying really really hard and this person is taking advantage of you. I think you are dealing with somebody that is highly competitive. They thrive on competition. And as long as you continue to uh, give to them, they're going to take. Okay, they are definitely bringing you backwards. Whoever you're dealing with is bringing you backwards. Um, here it is reversed now. That's extremely competitive. 
extremely competitive when it comes out in reverse. So you're dealing with somebody who uh, loves attention. I mean, what more can I say? I think you may get to the point where... I mean, this is exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. You're exhausted. You don't want to play. This is a player. You're dealing with a player. You probably, you probably will get exhausted and fed up with these games. You probably can't. You'll get to a point where you just can't take it anymore. Or some, or this could go vice versa. Okay, somebody is is something's gonna come to a stop. It's like we're gonna stop playing these games. Five of arrows, five of swords. This is this has definitely been a battlefield. You've been battling, you've been fighting, you've been there's been some serious power struggles. Somebody is like this is a hostile situation. Somebody wants it's gonna be leaving, it looks like. I don't even wanna be a part of this anymore. So I feel like in June, uh you're gonna need to find your confidence and your willpower to Walk away from a situation in which somebody's been using you for your tender, loving care, but they've been dealing with another person. If there's another woman or another, there is. The Queen of Wands comes up in a reading means there's another woman. Could be another man. I think it's another woman. I think there's another woman here. It's like you get to a point where you can't do this anymore. I'm not going to play these games anymore. I'm not going to keep doing this anymore. I'm not going to keep going backwards. I've been wasting my time, sacrificing myself. And I think what happens is, is you get together with one of your friends and your friends it gives you this perspective that you've been lacking. You've been lacking the perspective. You've been in some sort of denial because of that big old heart of yours. So I feel like you're going to be going down a new path. I feel like you're going to be going down a new path. You're going to be finding your strength to turn your back on this situation it's like no i have to go i have to turn my back on this i'm not going to play games i'm not going to play games with your ex i'm not going to i'm you know i'm not it's and i feel like this person's past keeps coming back to haunt them you know and i think it's a person's somebody's ex somebody's ex you know i feel like that's what it, i don't know why i feel so strongly about that but i do So I feel like you are going to be turning your back on somebody because they just can't move on. You know, they can't move on or something like that. And it's just got to a point where, you know, you've wasted a lot of time and you're probably ready. You're probably ready to start over on a new path. It's going to take a lot of strength and determination, but I think you're going to do it. I feel as though you have a lot of love, a lot of love to offer. You've been... Um, sacrificing for too long you've been holding on for too long but now you're ready some of you might be dealing with somebody with by the name of mark i did that just that just like uh screamed at me right there so i don't know if you're dealing with somebody by the name of mark but anyway um it's the done done playing these games i can't do this anymore this is too much for me somebody is 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 deciding that they don't want to dance anymore i want to play see i don't want to do this anymore i just don't want to do this anymore i'm done i'm done so um yeah i feel like i feel like in june there is another woman whether whoever this other woman is or another man it could be another woman or another man there is there's 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 dealings here with another person that is um coming in between you and the person that you're dealing with and this is a huge obstacle it is it's a huge obstacle and i think you're going to get some advice from a friend that is going to help you to stand up for yourself Okay, it's going to help you to stand up for yourself. And pro, pro, I mean, the Five of Swords is, is walking away, even though it's not easy. Okay? So I think somebody is going to be walking away from this fight. I'm done fighting. I'm done playing, playing games with you and your ex. Good luck.